Uh, hi everyone, it, it, welcome back to another video, and uh, today, we, we got a little bit of an interesting one to do today. Um, here we are at my desk that is totally uh, not my desk that I've had before, and uh, it's a cheap, flimsy wooden desk, and I do not like it, and I would like to request a different desk. So, um, <laughs> guys, donate to my uh, non-existent Patreon, and maybe, maybe if you guys can help me out. No, I'm joking, I have a desk. So, uh, so here we are on, uh, Yoshi Bite's desk, and, oh my god, okay. <laughs> this is clearly not working out the way I wanted it to. So, uh, here, so we're doing a little bit, as you can see, we have a computer in front of us, and what we're going to be doing on this computer today is installing Microsoft Windows XP on this, uh, this computer. As you can see, uh, not that not that computer back there because that computer runs Windows 10. This computer, as I said, cur currently runs Windows XP. We're going to reinstall Windows XP. It runs this computer runs Windows XP RTM, but we're going to be installing Service Pack 3 because it's good. You know, we don't want any bad viruses on this computer at all. So uh, let let's turn the computer on. So it's going to boot. Now, it's, it's actually interesting because, um, um, I don't have any discs. Uh, I, I, I don't have any discs, so we're doing this all off of USB. So, um, I obviously, I confirmed that it doesn't boot off of USB, so we're going to be installing it from Windows XP, you know, just new. So, um, yeah. Windows XP Home Edition, see how it says Home Edition, that's how you know it's RTM. 1995 to 2001, and uh, it's booting up. Oh, it never gets old. So as you can see, I I've put a couple new uh, files on the desktop. There's a uh, my crappy 3DS thing, a SpongeBob PC game, and a folder named. F I've burned a, a USB, it should be bootable, but I guess this computer, I mean, it would make sense. <laughs> so, if you guys want to know the specs, this computer has a Intel Celeron at 2 gigahertz, a 40 gigabyte hard disk drive, which is on the fritz, it, it's making weird noises, but it still is working, and 512 megabytes of DDR-SD RAM memory. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, which in the BIOS, it was, I was able to confirm that it was reading about 500 of that. And I was thinking that I actually have a disc of Windows Vista that I was going to install Vista on this, but I was just figured it runs XP. It should just be XP. So, um, we're going to go into the my computer tab and, uh, this is the USB that I burned and here we go. So it says, welcome to Microsoft Windows XP. What do you want to do? Install Windows XP. Learn more about the setup process. Install optional Windows components. Perform the system tasks and check system compatibility. Excuse me. So um, we're going to go into install Windows XP. So we're going to choose new installation. Existing files you're lost and you're sure to speak to the upgrade option if available. So we're going to accept the license agreement. And we're going to get the oh crap. Okay, um, this computer does have a product key, but it's on the bottom. So I have I'll be right back while I go and retrieve the product key. Um, so uh, yeah, it's on the bottom of the computer, so it's it's not that hard. It's not that I don't have one. It's all just on the bottom of the computer. Um, I I, I do have a bit of a thing though. Um, I don't know if this is going to work because, um, this is a, a home edition, like RTM key, and this is a service pack three home edition. So, uh, I, I, I'm honestly not too sure if this will work, but, uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go put the camera down. So, uh, hey guys, I'm back. So, um, yeah, uh, the XP, uh... Uh, that was the product key that was on the, um, the, uh, let me readjust this here. Oh, crap. Um, the uh, product key was on the bottom of the computer, uh, was not valid. So, um, that's a little 
ad. And I've, uh, I, this is not RTM, this is Service Pack 1. A kind of an idiot moment on my part, but, uh, um, let's just, uh, I, I just went and got a Service Pack 1. Uh, so let's, uh, let's see if we can, uh, do this. Okay, so I just put in a generic key, and, uh, it did work. Um, I just got a key from the, uh, Internet Archive, which I, I didn't want to do, but, you know, some set of files have been updated, etc. No, it's just, it's an exciting new look. Windows XP supports a brand new visual design that combines a sleek look, clean lines, and appealing colors with a task-oriented design and completely streamlined navigation. The redesigned start menu, uh, there's just, uh, you know... So I guess we'll just have to wait here um, for a while because uh, this is, uh, you know, running off of USB. This is probably like USB 2.0 or it could be 1.1. Please let it not be 1.1 because I, I just, that is so slow. I, I wouldn't really, I, I wouldn't know what to do. gonna restart now so let's just press the escape key and windows is going so i guess we're going to restart now and i do not i yeah i don't expect the drivers to work out of the box that wouldn't be surprising though the sound drivers would maybe work Okay, this is, no, this is XP Professional, so, but, um, that, yeah, that's why it didn't work, because XP Professional. So, uh, we're gonna format using the NTFS file system with the quick option. Wait, it's installing onto the, uh, wait, no. <laughs> One it's, it's like booting off the E drive. Huh? What? Very strange. Um, so we're going to partition one NTFS. So, uh, it's, I, th I think it's like 30 gigs free. Um, uh, you chose to install on a partition that contains another OS. Installing Windows XP on this partition might cause to function in improperly. Installing multiple operating systems so is not recommended. Just, yeah, just press C. Exciting new look, Windows XP Professional. This is basically the same, um, <laughs> the same little text blurb that, uh, come up during setup. <laughs>
blue screen, which hopefully means that the computer is done now. Um, the setup actually did predict the correct time. It's been about 30 minutes since I, uh, uh, since I started the installation. And it said it's set up but complete in like 30 minutes. So, uh, you know, it was, it was really kind of correct. And uh, we got Windows XP Professional on this computer now. Oh, no, I think it is going through the out-of-box experience. Let's automatically adjust your screen resolution. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. Let's see if it'll, if we have any music. Okay. All right, no, we do not have any, we do not have the famous title. Oh, I just added in ed editing. So, um, I'm here to help you set up your computer and explain things as you move along. Thank you. Uh, question mark thingy. So, tell me about this process. So you have screens on your computer set up the way you want. Okay, is that it? Hey man, what should I do next? It's just basically like just click the fucking next button, you idiot. <laughs> so um we're gonna we're just gonna go through the out of box experience. Uh when I do do install Windows XP on computers, um and we're not yeah, we're not gonna have any internet, so we'll just skip that. Um, when I, as I was saying, when I do usually um, install Windows XP, um, it's usually in virtual machines and VMware just kind of sets the things up for you, which uh, I kind of don't like actually. So yeah, we're gonna put the name as Yoshi Byte because that's me. Thank you. All right, so uh, and now we're booting into the desktop. All right, and there we go. We are on the desktop on a clean install of Windows XP Professional. Uh, I didn't even mean to install Professional, but you know, it it, it is what it is. And we've got the famous Bliss wallpaper. Take a tour of Windows XP. I, I really don't want to do that. Um, God, I forgot how much stuff Windows XP came with. Uh, but I think, you know, I think, I think a lot of you know what we uh, what we should do with uh, with uh, this computer. Oh yeah, pinball time! Oh man, I think I actually played this game. This has got to be like it wasn't the first game. Are you? <sighs> no, I'm mad. All right, um, so, that was stupid. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, Windows XP. Um, it, it, I mean, a very nostalgic OS. This was like the first computer OS, OS, OS that I used. So we'll just, we'll just go ahead and draw a picture. Yeah, shut up, shut up, Windows. It was, oh crap, okay. Um, we'll just draw a picture, we'll just go, um, just make some text and we'll make it, f yeah, let's just do that. Um, uh, alright, let's, let's, let's type here. That is, that box is way too small. I can't get it anything. Oh my god, go! Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. I'll draw, we'll put a couple shapes around. Now can you fill? No, I said fill. I'll put a couple shapes around and, uh, and yeah. So, <laughs> that's our picture. So we'll go ahead and save that. Uh, can we save it as a JPEG? You can. All right, we're gonna save it as a JPEG. We're just gonna put it in the, in the, I'll just put it on the C drive. It's fine. And, uh, well, yeah. So that is Windows XP. I am now, uh, I won't get into driver installation because that's not very fun. So, um, I was, I was thinking about it, but as I was doing this, I was like, eh, everything's pretty stock so far. So, uh, thank you all for going on this nostalgic trip with me. Um, 
this computer now means very uh, very much to me and i kind of felt a little sad deleting all the files off of it but uh you know if i if i were in the same situation i want my computer to to be completely wiped so um yeah so anyways, that is going to do it, guys. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Consider sharing it with your friends who are inter interested in this kind of stuff. And I'll uh, see you all later. Uh, join my Discord server. Um, followed by TikTok, Twitter, you know, all that. You guys, you guys know the drill. I mean, you've watched YouTube before, right? You guys know what to do. So um, if uh, this video, if you guys want to, I could install either... Windows 2000 or um, uh, Windows Vista. Although I saw um, that this on the product, the driver's website, that it um, it said it was compatible with Windows 98 and NT 4.0. That's not. I don't think so because it didn't have any drivers like listed. But uh, we could try Vista, definitely. Um, I think this computer could definitely run Vista. Um, we might even see if it has any... Um, what kind of... I, I might have to read up more about the um, the GPU could, uh, performance to see if we can get like Windows Arrow working. Um, it seemed like it was a pretty nice computer back then, so uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, that'll do it for me, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.